All right, and speaking of new technologies and also all these developments, um, Holger, I would also have a question to you, to Shanghai, because basically I would be very interested in regards to this, um, what is the strategy at ZF actually in regards to the next generation of mobility? Revena, that's a broad question, but let me try to be brief in, in answering it. And uh, let me start with, um, I'm just coming back from actually two months um, in Europe, seeing partners and customers, now being back in Shanghai. And you see how differently the world is developing. Why in Europe, everybody was talking about the Green Deal and new uh, regulation coming up in terms of sustainability. Here in Shanghai, probably we are more dealing with uh, the outcome of mega cities uh, being in total congestion and uh, you have some air pollution, which is very concerning. Yeah? So uh, we as the app answering your question, we are very broad in our portfolio. That's important to understand. Yeah? So we are covering, so to say, the industry from commercial vehicles to past cars to agricultural equipment, construction, off highway, up to marines, uh, to marine uh, applications like boats. So very broad portfolio in terms of where uh, propulsion systems, mobility systems are required. And then, of course, we are in the energy generation industry as well with our windmill business. Yeah, we are. Uh, with 25% overall market share, global market share in transmissions for windmills and power generators. So this is a pretty important topic for us as well, how to generate green energy. Yeah? So when we now look at the market, we look at really the future of mobility and not just components. Yeah? And of course, the service is playing a very, very important role if you think about reman, if you think about uh, uptime, guaranteeing service in different mobility concepts, and we might come to that later, uh, but it's not a surprise that we are on the one hand side at the forefront of technology, see, think, act, uh, where we are covering everything you need for autonomous driving in terms of sensor technology. We just introduced here at Auto Shanghai a couple of months ago, one of the fastest supercomputers automotive, automotive graded to do with the thinking, yeah, high performance in, in computing. And we are very much transforming into a software company. So, and then the classical business with braking, brake pads, steering, and e-mobility, which is changing our industry quite significantly. And all of this, of course, needs to be supported by our aftermarket, but the aftermarket is way more than just now um, pushing boxes and selling spare parts, but it's getting more and more connected with our customers. And of course, we are going and entering new areas of mobility. So for example, uh, we are very active with a company called To Get There, which is offering mobility as a service yeah, in uh, autonomously driving shuttles. And actually, we are doing this since 1999 you know, on Sentosa Island in Singapore, where we have those fully autonomously driving people movers. And this is taking shape here in Asia, but as well in Rotterdam, in a business park where we are having, for example, those people movers. So we are covering a pretty broad scope. And we believe that's an advantage because we can cross leverage technologies and experiences. And we try to be at the forefront of shaping the future of mobility.